So, two things. One thing is every time I watch an aviation video, YouTube seems to think I also want to watch a video about 9-11. Um, I've watched, I don't know what the original aviation video was. Um, I, I don't know. Either way, as soon as you watch any aviation video, the algorithm inundates you with 9-11 videos. There's simulations, there's first-hand accounts, there's... There was a museum review, there was a, um, there was a side-by-side -side of the actual event in the movie, I think the movie was called 9-11, I don't know what it was called, but when the towers collapsed and they did like the side-by-side -side of the actual towers collapsing and Nick, Nick Cage's character being like, run, um, can we please figure out how to make it so if I want to watch a video on, I don't know, how bad the DC-10 was, that it doesn't also suggest me suggest to me uh, why Osama bin Laden hung out or didn't like communists and then this spiraled into 9/11. Um, just please, can we figure that out? Because I, I'm, I don't understand why at any point the algorithm thinks that any airplane video must have 9-11 paired with it. It's very stupid. Um, because I always end up watching at least two or three of them. So it's also probably my fault. But, <sighs> okay. The next one, our subject is, I'm currently clicked on a video with 23 million views. It was posted on August 28th, 2006. And it is Vanessa Hudgens come back to me. It is on the Hollywood Records YouTube channel, and I am sitting here wondering, because I know back in 2006 and seven, that's when the channel, Disney Channel, had the most viewers it has ever had in its entire existence up until this point. Um, what would it take to get back to that for that channel? And I'm assuming probably nothing. Or probably something close to, you have to have a lead-up of good shows, plus a high school musical type show event type thing. And then making your stars not be, not be seen as, I don't know. I really don't know. Because it's very interesting to see how children back then were on TV. And a majority of them, I would say, ended up fine. Other people would say, no, they didn't. I would say, yes, they did. Um, and uh, even if they didn't, um, to expect a 13-year-old who seemingly probably peaked on TV to have a normal life afterwards is pretty dumb. And it's also pretty rare. I don't know if that even made sense with the previous thing I just said. Either way... Um, Luis Rossman still has not started his stream. Uh, uh, I didn't know what I was going to say. I was not going to say anything new. Yeah, I don't know. Lead up of good shows. Because let's see. Before, back then they had the premiere of Zack and Cody, Hannah Montana, The Wizards of Waverly Place. They had this whole High School Musical thing. Um, Phil of the Future was before, I think, all three of those shows, kind of. Um, I should never have my window open because people are always yelling. <sighs> God, what else? They had like a bunch of animated shows that were halfway decent. I was watching Deutschland, or Dutchland, I don't know what it was called. It's a YouTube channel that goes over basically all of the um, history of mostly Disney-related things, but also other things as well, mainly related to the world of the theme parks, and he talks about the... He doesn't talk about it. He actually interviews somebody who made music for Disney, and she talked about how... I didn't realize this back then, because of course I didn't, but apparently... The major networks, Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, and Nickelodeon, all had certain themes. So Disney Channel's, I can't remember right now, so we're going to get back to it. But Nickelodeon's was, um, I guess, kind of like Screw the Adults type thing. 
Um, Cartoon Network was apparently all about boys. And then... I think Disney Channel was a family-oriented thing. Uh, so it was kind of interesting, especially looking back on the shows that were on those channels, that it would seem, because Drake and Josh was a family thing, Zoe 101, I guess, was a family thing. I never watched it. What was after iCarly, I guess, was kind of a family thing. And then you talk about Cartoon Network, and it had Ben 10, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, which girls obviously wouldn't like. Um, maybe Ben 10, but I had uh, Teen Titans. Like, yeah, I guess so. And then you think of Disney, and Disney was a, uh, I'm sorry, Nickelodeon. No adults. Okay, screw what I just said beforehand, because I understand now. So, when I said Nickelodeon, no adults, it would make sense that Drake and Josh would be those, like, be on that sh channel. iCarly and Zoe 101 as adults were not really prevalent on those shows. It was more like kids running it. Um, you had Rugrats as well. And then Family, now going back to Disney, uh, I guess would be... Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, that was a family. Um, what did I say? Wizards, that was a family. What else? Hannah Montana, that was a family. Uh, what is this? Um, all of the mo movie shows that they had, like uh, Jump In, that was a family. The High School Musical, that was a family. I can't remember what else they had back then. Um... So yeah, it was kind of interesting. So yeah, 9-11 and Disney. That's all I really have to say. And all I really had to talk about. Um, thanks.